No, thank you. Okay, so th there's, a, yeah, so the, the <clears throat> there's a thing, you know, like taking on board karma, you know, take, like when you're a nobody uh, and you're not responsible, like if I'm just like a drunk on the street and I just go off and sort of say like, uh, I think you're a twat and uh, I don't like the way you look, it doesn't really have a big effect on the world. Uh, you know, like if a tramp sort of says to me, um, uh, I think you're, you're shit, you know, I, I brush it off like, who are you? I mean, I don't really care who you are. If I'm like the president of a country, or if I'm the lead political leader of a country, or if I'm the <coughs> spiritual leader of a country or a community, mm. and, and, <coughs> and I say, uh, uh, and I have to have a camera, but there was a, there was a political, there was a, there was a, there was a political leader who in the past took up the sword and tried to kill, um, kill his enemies. And he was very spiritually aware at one point, but he fell. And then he, he asked his, all his religious followers to then destroy the opposition. And it's okay to kill them. So it's, it's okay to kill the infidels. It's all right. You have, so when, when you're, you have such a position of power, um, and, and, then you, you, and then everyone looks to you like uh, you're the leader, and then you give them permission, or you tell them it's right. Go kill the infidels. It's uh, anyone who is uh, anyone who's eating sugar. <laughs> That's the wrong one to say, isn't it? Anyone who wears a blue hat. <laughs> anyone who wears a multicolored scarf. <laughs> I am your spiritual leader. Anyone who wears a rainbow-colored scarf should be, should be like destroyed on sight. You have full sanction to put them in a camp and guess them, okay? So, when I'm a nobody, and you know, if I sort of say that, like hallucinating on the street, I'm nobody, mm. like the karma is very, <coughs> is very slight. Mm. Actually, I hardly have any karma, you know, like, uh, you know, like kill everyone, I'm a drunk on the street, like, you know, it doesn't do anything. If I'm like suddenly the, the, the spiritual leader or the political leader, and I say like people who wear rainbow scarves are, are the enemy, and everyone is like, I'm the charismatic leader. How are you listening to this? I get the context. Rainbow scarves and caps. Those are the enemies. I give you full action to lock them up and gas them immediately. They are the sworn enemy of our, of our state. Okay. So now, me sort of saying that, you know, the, the guilt that I, and then all these people with the rainbow scarves are suddenly locked up. <laughs> And sort of hanged. <laughs> Use their scarves to hang them, okay? That's what they deserve because they are the enemy. Now, because I'm in such a position of power and I'm the yeah. charismatic leader of this nation, <laughs> this nation, <laughs> and I've just, I've just said, given permission, like everyone who's angry and disgruntled, go out and look for rainbow colored scarves. <laughs> and, and so that is like, that takes on a huge level of karma and a huge level of guilt. So now, now hundreds of people with rainbow scarves are being like detained because they're, they're the enemy of the state. And, uh, and now I get reincarnated, you know, or, or, uh, or I was, you know, or, um, and then now for me to clear it as a drunk on the street, it doesn't really take much to clear that. But as me, for the leader, you can have what I call serious karmic wounds, which take a, a long time to release. So... <clears throat> So then I might be coming back lifetime after lifetime, uh, you know, and I might have, you know, in one lifetime, like the enemy are people who wear like blue caps. I get born into another lifetime and it's like the enemy of the state is anyone who wears a blue cap and I'm victimized and then I'm executed. And then, okay, I, you'd, I, you'd think you'd have paid off the blue cap thing, but then I'm born again and it's like anyone who, who has like grey, grey trousers is the enemy of the state. And then I'm like persecuted for wearing grey trousers. And then it's like, okay, but okay, I've, I've paid off the grey trouser karma. And then I'm reborn again as a, another kid. And it's like, anyone who wears glasses should be, should be excommunicated, you know. And then it's like, and it seems like it's over and over again, lifetime after lifetime, I'm being persecuted. And surely then it feels very like, 
it's like, so some things seem to go very quickly and some things it seems like lifetime after lifetime. And that, that depends on, <clears throat> I would say that depends more on your position of power and how much of an effect that had. I think if you're a nobody and you just steal one donut, I think that's quite easy, easy to clear. If, I've sort of, if I'm the political leader of a country and I say, like, uh, hang anyone with a rainbow-coloured scarf and, like, 300 people get hanged, <laughs> with like coloured scarves, then I could get like, that could be like five lifetimes of mm. being persecuted for one thing or another because it's like I'm just reincarnated into the victim group that's being taken. The, and it's not like, you know, and it's like, okay, I'm like helping people now. In this lifetime, I'm helping people who have rainbow scarves. <laughs> and then in the next lifetime, I'm helping people with glasses. And the next lifetime, I'm helping people who wear blue hats. So it becomes like that. So some karmas take a long time. I mean, when you think of like someone like, I think I'd use Adolf Hitler. You know, if, if you get reincarnated, like how long does it take to clear the karma of being Adolf Hitler and uh, gassing all the Jews? Now, like one person comes off and they do a bit of spiritual work and they're happy and clappy. They win the lottery and they have a Ferrari. Another person is like, they're, they're born and they've got really abusive parents, and they really work hard and they can't earn money, and then they're born again for another lifetime, and they're struggling. So it's like you can't really see <coughs> what happened. Um, you know, I, I feel sorry. I mean, Hawkins kind of alluded, don't be a spiritual <coughs> Don't be, you know, like I think uh, I might do a video like putting people off becoming a spiritual teacher. Um, because if you're a spiritual teacher and you, and you sort of, say like, uh, uh, okay, like sex is holy, let's all have sex orgies, and, uh, and it's good to donate money because um, to my poor children charity, and then I have 97 Rolls Royces. I'm gonna piss people off with this video. But, I uh, think so, we'll pick up drunks. I realised it was gonna be a fatwa against that very video. People seriously think you're on drugs or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's terminating.